Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Eating the Healthy Way. And um, for this episode, I am going to fry cabbage without meat, and I'm going to use pure butter and canola oil to fry. So what I'm doing now, I had two small heads uh, of cabbage, and I, I was cutting the cabbage, and I was just going to show you the cabbage already cut up already but I say let me demonstrate a few slices of how I actually cut the the cabbage so you guys could see what I'm doing okay so I lay the cabbage like this and I cut it lengthwise like that okay you cut it like that alright and what I do is lay the cabbage down and just cut it lengthwise like that okay okay cut it like that and I'm going to put it here I'm going to put it here in the bowl so I can I like the pieces long so when you grab it with the fork it's like you know really nice so what I'm going to do after I finish I'm going to, if I rinse it off, I'll show you the actual, how I actually fry it with the seasonings, okay? So I'll be right back after I wash the cabbage. All right, I'm back. The cabbage is washed, all right? So these are the ingredients that you need. So like I said before, so to be quick and easy, washed and, and um, wash, cut the cabbage the night before and just put it in the refrigerator. So when you get home, just get a half a stick of butter, a little bit of canola oil. All right. So this is lemon pepper, seasoning salt, onion powder, and garlic powder, okay? Those are the only things you need. So over here, our pan is preheated. We put the oil in the pan. And the butter. All right, the butter has melted, so take half of your cabbage and put it in here. Mm. So I put a layer, I always start just putting a layer at the bottom and season that and then put the other half. Okay, so a little bit of lemon pepper. A little bit of seasoning salt. Just a little bit, just like a pinch full. That's what I'm doing. Just to, to be a little accurate here. Just a garlic powder. And onion powder. Alright. Then I get a little bit more. Just a tad bit more. And then do the same. Get some lemon pepper. A little bit more lemon pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And a tad bit of seasoning salt. So what I usually do is cover it and let that simmer for a little bit and then I'm going to stir it. So put a top on it and I'll be right back to show you, to show how I um, stir it. And I have this sitting here because I'm cooking with an iron skillet and this is really hot. The handle is hot so I just keep this here. I don't have um, fire. I have a, an electric stove, so the fire is not coming up on it, so I keep that there so I can hold the pot. So I'll be right back in a few minutes. 
All right, it's been cooking for about three to four minutes. So I'm gonna stir it. Mmm, this smells so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, it smells good. So see the um, and cabbage makes its own what water? I guess I call it water. And um, see, it's frying really good. And so. What I'm doing now is mixing the butter and the oil in it so it'll be covered. Alright, so now I am going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes and I'll um, show you what the final results look like. And then see how quick it is? It doesn't take long for cabbage to cook, but I'll come back with the final result. Alrighty. It's been a few minutes and I just wanted to turn it and see if it was if it's done. Mmm. Now you don't want it to get too soggy or too limp. Okay, you want nice firm cabbage. So what I'm gonna do. So I know a lot of y'all thinking healthy, butter is not healthy. Well, it's an, an health, a healthier alternative than bacon, I think, because I usually use bacon, but sometimes, you know, I mean, if you just want to right quick make some cabbage for, as a side dish for your meal, you know, you can use margarine or butter. And I have a question for you guys. Some articles say that butter is better for you, and some says that say that margarine is y'all let me know which one is healthier margarine or butter okay give me your thoughts on that all right but look at that look how good that looks mm, okay I'm gonna give it a few more minutes to get a little bit tender more tender mmm it smells so good guys so again I have it on medium, okay, it's on medium now, and the four seasonings I use are garlic powder, onion powder, seasoning salt, and lemon pepper, and you can use those seasonings as your taste desires, okay, alright, so just a few more minutes and then I'll show you the final results. Alright, I'm back. I think it, that it is done. Now, when you put the top on it, it doesn't take long to cook. Alright, oh, that looks perfect. Okay, because you don't want it um, too soft, okay? So, I am going to put it in a plate. And uh, remember before I was telling you all that um, I like for the cabbage to have long strips. See how, how long the strips of um, cabbage are? See how long? Yeah, it look it's good. It it, it um, plates good, and um, it's easy to eat with the easier to eat with the fork, and it looks good. Look at that, and I promise you that it tastes just as good as it looks. Okay, so you plate it in a plate like that. Plate it. Plate it sitting in the middle of the table for your family. And I tell you, it is absolutely delicious. Let me taste the piece here. Let me taste it. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is so good. Mmm. All right, well here you have it guys. Fried cabbage without meat and it's just as delicious. All right, until the next time, I'll talk to you later.